Good evening, Titans, and this is Mr. Simpson again, and tonight we'll be discussing Lesson 1.3, Solving Equations with Variables on Both Sides of the Equal Sign. So again, if you look at the objectives, we're going to solve linear equations that have variables on both sides, identify special solutions of linear equations, and also use linear equations to solve real-life problems. So the core concept is solving equations with variables on both sides. And it states, to solve an equation with variables on both sides, simplify one or both sides of the equation if necessary, then use inverse operations to collect the variable terms on one side, collect the constant terms on the other side, and isolate the variable. So we're going to do an example here on the next slide that will cover this core concept. So if you notice, the difference between this problem and the problems we were doing is that we have a variable term on the left side and a variable term on the right side. And to solve an equation, we have to have the variable terms to one side of the equal sign and the constant terms, or the terms with no variables, on the other side. Since we already have a negative 9x on the right side, we're going to move the negative 4x to that other side. So we're going to do that by adding 4x to each side. And again, we're using inverse operations to do this. So now, on the left side, we have just 10. And on the right side, we have negative 9x plus 4x would be a negative 5x. Now we have the variable on one side, the constant on the other, and we're ready to solve by dividing. So in this case, we divide both sides by a negative 5, and we get x is equal to a negative 2. So if you want to rewrite it as x equals a negative 2, that'd be great. Here is another one, and again, the main thing is that we have variables on both sides. Now, you see that there are parentheses, so we learned the last couple of days, if we have parentheses, we have to eliminate them by using the distributive property. So we'll go ahead, on the left side, distribute the 3 to both those terms. So 3 times 3x would be 9x, and 3 times minus 4 would be minus 12. Now I have to take 1 fourth times 32x, so 1 fourth times 32 over 1, and if we cross cancel, we get 8, so that becomes 8x plus. Now I have 1 fourth times 56 over 1. And again, 4 goes into 56 14 times. So then I have plus 14. Now again, we have variables on both sides. So next, I want to move the variable terms to one side. So I'm going to move the variables to the left. So I'm going to subtract 8x from each side. And then at this point, I could also then add 12 to each side. Now, sometimes we'll do this in one step. Sometimes we do this in two steps. So in this case, if I do it this way, I get x. The constant goes away. Here, the variable term goes away, and I get 26. So my final answer is x equals 26.